Hey everybody, it's Gary Lucas, and uh, this is a whole new look, and hopefully sound. I mean, I'm coming from you <laughs> sideways, uh, hitting it sideways here at Shea Lucas uh, here in the West Village. And, uh, well, I had a lot of discussion over the last few weeks about tweaking the uh, solo concerts. So, okay, we're trying it at this angle on my iPhone 11, which I had to get because my other one died a couple of months ago. I had only missed one show in all these uh, months. And then as far as the audio, I've got here, I don't know if you can see it in the frame because once... Once Caroline clicked on, that's going to be it for uh, as far as angles here. I have the blue. A lot of them. I got to get that software to eliminate those scammers. And uh, all the people are hitting on me all the time for this and that. Aren't we all getting this during this pandemic anyway? So I've got this mic, which I may tweak a little bit because uh, I'm trying to find a sweet spot on this thing so it doesn't overload. But in any case, I'm going to play for you till 3.30, and here we go.
extrapolation on Frank Zappa's King Kong, and it appears on my very first solo album. Oh yeah, I'm holding it upside down just like Peter Green. This is a Skeleton at the Feast, a little bit weather-beaten copy, but a good one, intact and in great shape, which I just acquired, and uh, it's on sale, <laughs> kind of, in my shop. If you visit the merch page of www.garylucas.com, I've got that. I got this one just came in. I did a a hunt and search all over the world. Gary Lucas live at Paradiso in Amsterdam. A live EP that came out on a rather fly by night dodgy label. But uh, well, aren't they? Uh, no, that's not true. I'm very proud to be affiliated with Knitting Factory Records. They've been in business for quite some time. And in fact, my album with Jeff Buckley, Songs to No One, is available through them. And that was formerly their biggest seller. I don't know, there's some English something or other. Anyway, here, just got these in. I have one extra one. It's a Captain Beefheart Trout Mask replica mask. You know... Contact me via PayPal, which is at the top, or maybe at the bottom. I don't know. i got to look at the frame when we're done. Uh, but my PayPal link is there. And uh, let's make a deal. And uh, before we do any more dealings, let's take a look, shall we, at the wall of fame. As In my heart, anyway, these guys are number one this week. Martin Tiefenthaler. My old pal from Vienna, Martin. God bless you, buddy. Martin had me come over and do a solo concert. He lives in just about the coolest place. It's sort of an art commune uh, in the outskirts of Vienna. It was an old industrial... I don't know, what was it? A Wurstfabrik? No, it was uh, some kind of factory operation uh, with a stream running through the middle of it. And they've got an indoor archery course. A uh, pretty amazing place where a lot of like-minded Austrian artists live. And he's probably still there. And it was Martin who first hit me to uh, Boris Lurie. Great uh, New York-based artist. Not very well known, but probably should be. Who did amazing stuff with collage of all sorts of this and that. Uh, so he had volumes of this stuff that was new to me. And I know Clayton Patterson, if you're watching, you know about this guy, Boris Lurie. So thank you, Martin. Roberto Zofoli, I guess from Italy. I didn't check the email, but most likely. Thank you, pal. Jay Doherty. Now, this is one of my dearest, oldest friends who goes back to my days at Yale University. He was a close personal friend of my sister Lori's. In fact, who went to summer school there. And Jay is a great guitar player and songwriter and led a band at Yale called The Rockets that were the go-to guy bands for all sorts of occasions, graduations, weddings, brisses, what have you. Jay, thank you for remembering, pal. And uh, he really was enjoying the looper stuff. So... That was a little taste of it there, you know. I mean, it was basically me with a delay and a looper. But uh, it really is all in the fingers, i got to tell you. Zach Silver, another friend, uh, and not a stranger. He's been a regular supporter, as has been Mark Green, who's actually a student of mine, who I've had to <laughs> slow down the mechanics of playing a lot of my solo acoustic pieces. Let's go there. Yeah. And uh, to show him how these things are done was not easy. But uh, he got me to, to kind of do them in slow-mo over... I guess we did it in Zoom last time. I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to hear how he's progressed.
keep an eye on the mic levels here now. God, I hope I wasn't distorting too badly in the first part. Uh, it's really not easy to find that sweet spot. Let me crank the gain down a little bit here.
and sing, but I'm afraid I'm going to be cut off in the frame. So this is how we're going to ride this one out. And uh, I think I'll switch back to electric guitar. Uh, hey, the storm was really fierce when it was happening, which was about two hours ago, to tell you the truth. And I went down s outside downstairs to pick up my delivery from five guys who jacked their price up. Can you imagine a hamburger with uh, small fries is 25 bucks now here in the West Village. It's just shot up another five bucks. I posted a little tour of Bleecker Street over the weekend so you can see what's been happening in the neighborhood. And uh, meanwhile, the oligarch's mansion is coming along nicely. And uh, I don't know, man. Them that's got shall get, etc. No.
bit of Dollar Brand for you, and uh, that brings us to the end. This is the end. I've got to turn this off, so uh, sorry I'm out of frame. You get a good shot of my shirt. Okay, until next time, which would be uh, this Thursday at 3 p.m. I remain Gary Lucas. I love you. Please visit my virtual tip jar at PayPal. Or write me about that uh, view card mask or uh, any other CD. Anything that's on your own mind. Alrighty. I don't know. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down on that mic, too. I'm not sure that I don't uh, go astray here. Okay. Let me do this. I'm done. See you soon.